Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we got ourselves a Stingray mod project. Let's do it. This is the Sterling by Music Man Array 24 and it's currently missing its preamp. And it's going to be losing a whole lot more before we throw in some really good stuff in here. This is the Ray 24 that I gave away recently in a giveaway contest. And Trevor, one of our viewers, won. So congratulations, Trevor, on winning this base. Now, in the giveaway, I said that I would basically build you whatever you want in a Stingray in this. And he chose an Aguilar DCB pickup paired with a dark glass tone capsule. Now, because the Ray 24 is like the SUB and does not use a side jack and instead uses the jack on the control plate, we are going to be using a stacked potentiometer, a stacked knob essentially, uh, to have the three band preamp, the jack on the plate, and the master volume control all in one place without having to modify the body. Well, let's get started with the modding. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Okay, so here we are with our Ray 24. Um, we are going to be replacing the pickup as well as installing a new preamp in here. So most of this mess is going to go. We have our battery leads here our pickup wires, and our bridge ground. Uh, let's go ahead and remove the strings first so we can get this pickup out of here. Okay, now let's go ahead and remove the pickup. So we have removed the stock Ray 24 pickup. I'm just gonna cut some new foam out of this. And let's install our Aguilar DCB. It looks like we're gonna have to install this by after removing the pick guard, so let's remove the pick guard. Now let's install the pick guard screws. Okay, now that the uh, pick guard is back in place, we're gonna go ahead and sideline the body and start building up our control plate. Okay, so here is our control plate and we are going to be installing the dark glass tone capsule preamp which is right here. Let's move this over a little bit more. Now the tone capsule does not come with a volume control. So we have a 330K pot uh, audio taper, which I think we're gonna use. I will think it'll be just fine. Um, so we're gonna pair this with the dark glass tone capsule preamp. And we have a jack here as well. So everything is going to be mounted to the control plate. Let's go ahead and start taking out the contents of the dark glass tone capsule. So this is it. We have three controls. We have our high mid, our low mid, and our base, and uh, some little uh, screw downs for some wires. We've installed this before. However, we are going to be doing something a little bit different this time around. This is a B50K pot, which is the same spec as what's used here. However, this is stacked. So we're going to be combining two of these controls here. These uh, are also detachable right here, so we're gonna go ahead and detach all three. Leave this preamp module over to the side for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and snip two of these because we are going to solder this to the stacked control.
Okay, now that we have everything installed, let's go ahead and attach everything to the preamp here. Now let's install everything on the control plate. Now that we have everything mounted to the control plate, let's go ahead and start wiring up our volume pot and connect that to the preamp and wire up our jack as well. Okay, let's see if we get a signal. Looks like we have a signal. Let's go ahead and uh, string it back up and try to fit this cable mess inside that cavity. And we're back, and this is the Ray 24 with the Aguilar DCB pickup and the Dark Glass Tone Capsule preamp. Now to fit the Dark Glass preamp on this control plate, we utilized a stacked potentiometer. Uh, it is a Noble concentric pot, which is going to be linked in the description below. It's a 50K stacked pot with a center detent. It is the perfect solution for what we were trying to do here, and it worked flawlessly. Let me go ahead and show you what this thing sounds like. <laughs> see I'm having some fun with this base. This is the finished result of a highly anticipated mod project and I am very happy with the results. I think that this DCB pickup pairs very nicely with this dark glass preamp. I'm also glad that we were able to utilize the dark glass preamp without the need to modify the body at all. We were able to utilize the stacked pot and maintain the jack on the control plate so we didn't have to do any side routing for a new jack or anything. Uh, everything worked out, and I'm very happy with the end result, like I said. Now, this is a very flexible base. With the preamp at center, it sounds like a mean stingray, but let's play with this a bit more, because this is very flexible. Uh, let's go ahead and turn everything down all the way first. And I turned the volume down, we don't need to do that. So with everything cut, I mean, there's not a lot of output here. Let's start with the base control, which is the bottom of the stack here. Let's bring that up to center, leaving everything else cut. Not too bad, not too bad. Now let's boost that all the way. So we have the base at 100%, the high mids and the low mids fully cut. And let's play it closer to the neck as well to get a fatter sound. <laughs> yeah, that's a real fat sound, real fat sound. Now let's bring the bass down to center and 
Sprinkle on some high mids, so let's have the high mids at center as well, leaving the low mids cut. Very nice. I like that sound with the mid scoop. Now let's boost the bass and the high mids to 100%, leaving the low mids cut. Very nice. Now let's go ahead and cut the bass and let's leave the high mids at 100%. So low mids and bass are cut, high mids 100%. And let's bring the low mids into this now. High mids at 100%, low mid centered, bass cut. And let's bring the bass up to center too, leaving the high mids at 100%. So low mids, bass centered, High mids, 100%. Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the low mids one more time, leaving everything else as is. And we're gonna play with a pick. Now the next song is at the request of the contest winner here. So here it goes. say that one pretty well. This has a very nice pick tone. It's really growly and aggressive. Again, this Aguilar pickup pairs so nicely with this Dark Glass preamp and brings out a very, I guess, untraditional Stingray character while still maintaining the overall Stingray vibe. You can get some fat tones out of this, but you can also get some real gritty tones as well. And I really dig the finished result. Now leaving the preamp as it is with the high mids at 100%, the bass at center, and the low mids at full cut. Let's see how this slaps. Now let's bring everything down to center, or up to center, whatever, and uh, slap it one more time. So this is the preamp full center. Listen to that, huge change in character there, just with the turn of a few knobs. So this is a very flexible instrument and I am very pleased with the end result. Now one last thing, let's go ahead and throw some drums behind this bass. Thank you. 
So here are my final thoughts on this Ray 24 with the Aguilar DCB pickup, as well as the Dark Glass Tone Capsule preamp. I think this is a great combo, especially if you're going for, I guess, a less traditional Stingray. It works very well, and I think it just, it sounds great, and it's, you know, proof that the Sub and the Ray 24 are great mod platforms. You can really take these instruments in so many different directions, and we've already done a lot, but I definitely look forward to doing a lot more with the Stingray mod platform, so be sure to subscribe, you guys, because we got a lot of cool stuff coming. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the modded Ray 24 with the Aguilar DCB pickup and the Dark Glass Tone Capsule preamp. And as always, until we groove again.